if what i am reading is how it is you know related to the upsc syllabus and how will i get to know that you know this particular point this particular news is related to my upsc syllabus and again if i am reading something what is the reference and what is the relevance of it so first important part that you know, you must be knowing that how you have to have a curated news ठीक है तो एक तो आपके पास क्यूरेटेड न्यूज होनी चाहिए दैट यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट व्हाट यू हैव टू रीड एक्चुअली देन ज्यादातर टाइम जो है आप लोग क्या करते हो कि जो नहीं पढ़ना है उसमें ही टाइम डिवोट करते हो एंड दैट बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट लाइक द टाइम दैट यू आर लेफ्ट विद इट इट इज वेरी लेसर टाइम नाउ द प्रोडक्टिविटी विल बी यू नो इट विल बी वेरी वेरी लेस आप रनिंग नोट कैसे बना सकते हैं कि वेन यू आर रीडिंग द टॉपिक यू कैन हाईलाइट इट आप वहीं पर एज इट इज हाईलाइट कर दो and uh, then when once you are you know uh, revising it you just see the highlighted part artificial intelligence in the coming uh, slide there i will explain you like how different topics are related to one particular you know uh, uh, main heading and then how you can you know interrelated okay subject wise aap kabhi bhi koi topic dekhte ho you have to relate it you have to relate it like this topic is belonging from which particular syllabus of upsc and for that what you you have to do good evening everyone so i hope you all know the aim of the today's lecture and what are we going to discuss so i am sharing my slide here so the main theme of this uh, lecture or the webinar will be how you have to complete this entire uh, current affairs by having that in mind that you have to have only 10 hours weekly uh, because many of you are professionals many of you are working and you don't get time to you know read newspaper on day to day or uh, daily basis and even if you are not professional then also you don't have that much of time to read on day to day basis and uh, you you have optional you have other basic subjects right so in this webinar we'll try to focus upon uh, the key themes like how do we you know how are we going to cover this entire current affairs without having the need to uh, read the newspaper on day to day basis okay so uh, first i will be presenting here and then at the end of this session we'll have some question round uh, in which you can ask me a question whatever you want to ask related to upsc and related to uh, to this particular webinar and in between if you have any question then you can also text our text team uh, will reply you okay so i'll i'm starting my uh, presentation right now so uh, first of all we have to understand that if i'm saying that we have to give 10 hours daily Uh, not daily 10 hours 10 hours weekly so what will be the approach okay and how we are going to divide because we know that in this entire process of upsc uh, especially the current affair parts it's it's quite you know it's quite vast it's like a ocean and uh, you know if you are not reading it properly thoroughly constantly then it might happen that you might forget some of the questions theek hai so first of all we will also discuss like what are the issues that students face okay so first of all uh, as per i know because i have experience of teaching from last 4 5 years so what student have told me that they don't know that how to you know relate uh, this newspaper reading with the syllabus okay the first thing they uh, they uh, ask me this the second important theme which they ask is ma'am how to interrelate because uh, they see one particular topic uh, separately and isolatedly and not interrelating the uh, topic with her many other uh, section of upsc that's the second point because once you start you know interrelating then most of the work is already done okay then also we will be discussing like uh, uh, if i am saying that you should be knowing about the syllabus of upsc then how to memorize it what is the effective way to memorize uh, upsc syllabus okay and then finally like how are we going to uh, give this 10 hours and how we should devote these 10 hours so now so we have to know how approach so first of all we have to listen or read so if you are a very good reader then you can read also and uh, if you are doing with the samachar manthan then what you can do is that uh, what we are doing is like we are having a weekly session on saturday and sunday and those session are just for you know just for 2.5 hours okay so 2.5 hours for saturday and 2.5 hours for sunday and then combined together it will be 5 hours okay then after reading or listening uh, what you can do is like you have to have the habit of writing so how you will devote that time because you don't have that much of time so 1.5 hours on weekly basis now again the question might you you might ask ma'am how to devote this 1.5 hours and how we will know that what to write hai na kyunki there are so many subjects there are so many you know uh, there are so many current affair topics and there are so many things to read so what to write exactly and what question to attempt 
this could be the second question now third is very important which is the most important part is the revision part that how are we going to revise everything right so for this i am dedicating here 3.5 hours and one by one i will explain uh, all these three approach like how are we going to you know devote this 10 hours and how this will be so fruitful for us okay so first thing that is most important is that listen and read and in that in that listen and read what is the most important point and how uh, do we do it actually so first of all there are so many topics there are so many news that are there and there are so many news that are related to one particular topic as well say for example uh, climate change which is a global phenomena right and glacier melting and then you can see uh, sea level rise okay then you see coral bleaching right so these are the several different topics which are related to one single topic that is the climate change okay so first of all this is very important that how you know uh, it is very important that to know what to read actually and what not to read so what not to read takes much of the time zyada tar time jo hai aap log kya karte ho ki jo nahi padhna hai usme hi time devote karte ho and that becomes very difficult like the time that you are left with it it is very lesser time so now the productivity will be uh, you know it will be very very less okay so first important part that you know, you must be knowing that how you have to have a curated news theek hai to ek to aapke paas curated news honi chahiye that you must be knowing that what you have to read actually then the other another important part say for example if i know that this global warming is a very important phenomena and there could be any other topic right now how can we club several other topics together because for one particular topic there could be several sub topics theek hai bahut sare sub topics aapke ho sakte hain uh, i will take one example here of artificial intelligence in the coming uh, slide there i will explain you like how different topics are related to one particular you know uh, uh, main heading and then how you can you know interrelated okay subject wise now the third thing is if what i am reading is how it is you know related to the upsc syllabus and how will i get to know that you know this particular point this particular news is related to my upsc syllabus and again if i am reading something what is the reference and what is the relevance of it has it been asked or is there any probability that it will be asked in the upsc examination in future theek hai so these all are the questions that student face on day to day basis ki hum pyq kaise kare upsc ke syllabus ko kaise memorize kare right sa itne sare different news hai how we have to club it okay and then like what exactly to read so all these things becomes very very difficult so here in this particular webinar i have taken one just one example i will be uh, showing you the another slide and there i'll explain ki how you know you have to read this curated news so let's take example of artificial intelligence so this artificial intelligence we can say that this is gs paper 3 now this artificial intelligence uh, we need to know that this particular topic is related to how many other topics uh, in uh, you know uh, in upsc right so first of all if you see this is related to science and technology development and their application and effects in everyday life theek hai so this is a syllabus of upsc I, I, which i have taken the another topic which is related is achievement of indians in science and technology indigenization of technology and developing a new technology okay awareness in the field of it space computers robotics nanotechnology biotechnology and issues relating to intellectual property right now guys you see here this is the just one topic and now this topic is related to several other topics as well of the same gs3 now i will also say that this is just not related to gs3 this is also related to gs4 this particular topic that is artificial intelligence it is also related to topic you know gs paper 4 then it is also related to your gs paper 3 gs2 as well right how it is related i will show you in the next slide but here what i am saying is that whenever you see any topic aap kabhi bhi koi topic dekhte ho you have to relate it you have to relate it like this topic is belonging from which particular syllabus of upsc and for that what you have to do for that you have to have prepared that you know notes syllabus aapke jo upsc uh, syllabus hai that must be have be with you handy so just prepare those you know uh, upsc syllabus with you and whenever you are reading any news just try to relate it in which particular domain it is actually falling kis domain mein wo ja raha hai aapke upsc syllabus ke kis domain mein ja raha hai are you able to interrelate it so this is the first way so in this way what will happen if if you are reading a news and if you are reading a syllabus also at the same time you will get acquainted with the syllabus very smoothly 
आपको कोई एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट लगाने की जरूरत नहीं है लाइक वाइल यू आर डूइंग रीडिंग अ न्यूज पेपर एट दैट टाइम ओनली यू आर सींग सिलेबस एज वेल ओके सो दर इज नो नीड दर इज नो एक्स्ट्रा नीड so as many times you are reading a new uh, new uh, you know uh, current affair news then that time you are seeing the uh, syllabus also so this is the simplest way to memorize the syllabus the first simplest way okay now i am saying here artificial intelligence this is the one topic which is part of gs3 and within gs3 th these are the subheadings through which it is related right now you see these are the different news clip of a uh, different paper which are uh, which have been asked you know which have been coming throughout from time to time to yahan pe agar aap dekhenge to first news it is about open ai plans to release a strawberry for chat gpt in two weeks then dark side of ai it's growing environmental footprint can you see here it is written its environmental foot footprint the third is about generative ai and data privacy okay and the fourth is neuralink implants brain chip in first human brain this was also the news then different approaches to ai regulation cabinet approves ambitious india ai mission to strengthen so these are the different news that have been asked uh, that have been you know uh, it was released from time to time the topic is same artificial intelligence aapka ek topic hai aur usme agar aap dekh pa rahe ho to isme kitne different domains hain so these are just the few examples which i have taken there are so many other examples as well so what i am trying to say is that if you pick a particular topic try to interrelate it now see guys ab main so kaise relate kar sakte hu say for example if you see here this neuralink uh, implant brain chip in first human brain so how it is related it is talking about your you know uh, privacy right uh, right to think that is one of the fundamental rights right so somebody is implanting a uh, chip in your brain and uh, it can also see like what you can think so that's the biggest question about the uh, ethical implication of ai right so again this is one particular domain which is definitely it is related to ai but it is also related to some other topics ethics theek hai secondly if you see here there are so many you know uh, laws policies uh, regulation with respect to ai right because this is a quite emerging topic you all are well aware of chat gpt chat gpt 40 then there's a strawberry project newly launched by open ai right so these are the different things these are the different things and how are we regulating it so again this regulation becomes a different domain right again if you see here that uh, generative ai and data privacy again then this becomes a different news right so first of all we need to understand how can we interrelate it and while interrelating it how can we effectively produce something out of it for our upsc preparation theek hai ab itne sare news hain ab in sare news ko combine karke agar main aapko ek bar mein bata dun then that will be very very effective for all of you right so in this way we our approach should be like that only that we are reading different news but at the end of the time that is a one particular news and that one particular news because it is covering so many domains so everything it is uh, you know covering so that becomes uh, you know a topic of your uh, uh, this essay as well to aap wahan pe essay bhi complete kar pa rahe ho so kehne ka matlab ye hai ki if you are covering one particular topic in a comprehensive way so you are not just covering one particular uh, gs paper you are covering several other paper as well right now this particular ai which is quite emerging topic if you see how you have to interrelate this topic so this 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 is a direct topic right ai is a direct topic which is belonging from gs3 but from this direct topic there are several indirect topics as well say for example advancement in ai like what we are advancing through ai this will come under science and technology then we have carbon footprint so there was a news that because of the uses of ai carbon footprint is also increasing it is also increasing greenhouse gases so how it is actually done so this is a environmental concern as well so this topic ai it is also related to environment now regulations and policies for ai right now how are we regulating it it becomes uh, you know part of polity and governance what are the steps that government are taking okay now the social impact of ai socially kya impact ho raha hai theek hai na ai kaise use kar rahe how youths are using Uh, whether it is used for you know uh, some fraud purpose some crime purpose or what purpose it are actually these are actually used okay so for that we need to have some data some societal data so that becomes part of society but what are we dealing we are dealing with the artificial intelligence only then 
again the ethical implications of ai how this uh, you know uh, uh, this particular topic ai is also related to ethics so this one topic this how how you can interrelate you know with several other indirect topics so that should be your approach if you are doing by yourself that's that, that's well and good aap agar aise hi kar rahe ho to koi dikkat hi nahi hai fir aapko aise hi karna hai theek hai aur agar main in sari cheezon ko ek sath bata deti hu jo hum karte hain samachar manthan mein bhi we try to do it like this only that we are trying to cover different different subheadings in a one particular news so you don't have to you know go for several news at a time तो इससे क्या होता है कि ऑलरेडी आपका टाइम जो है जो आप डिफरेंट अलग अलग न्यूज में पढ़ने में लगा रहे थे इट इज ऑलरेडी कब राइट सो यू आर रीडिंग जस्ट वन न्यूज विच इज कॉम्प्रीहेंसिवली कवरिंग सेवरल अदर डोमेन्स ऑफ अदर सब्जेक्ट एज वेल ठीक है तो ये एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट होता है एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ आई कैन से दैट दिस इज द बेस्ट थिंग दैट यू कैन डू फॉर योर सेल्फ फॉर मिनिमाइजिंग द टाइम ओके नाउ अगेन द क्वेश्चन becomes important if you are readings if you have read something then how you have to utilize it okay pad to sab lete hain hame padhna kai log honge aap mein se like those of you might be very interested in reading but are you able to retain it no the answer will be no most of you will be saying that we are not able to retain it why because you are reading so many things at one particular time now if you are reading so many things then how we have to retain it so the third important part becomes very important that you have to you know write it suppose maine koi question padha i mean maine koi news padha then main us news mein se kya question attempt kar pa rahi hu theek hai to jaise maine samachar manthan mein aapko ek pura artificial intelligence ka ek news padhaya so what i do in my class i also give you know one question one question that could that is a probable question that is not a pyq wo pyq nahi hota hai main ek aisa zarur leti hu question जो कि प्रोबेबिलिटी होती है दैट माइट बी आस्ट विच इज यू नो सिमिलर टू द वे द यूपीएससी आस्क क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस आल्सो दिस आई हैव फ्रेम्ड दैट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज अ ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग वेरियस सेक्टर्स ऑफरिंग इमेंस बेनिफिट बट इट आल्सो पोजेस सिग्निफिकेंट एथिकल चैलेंजेस डिस्कस द एथिकल इम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ ए आई विद अ पर्टिकुलर फोकस ऑन इट्स कार्बन फुटप्रिंट एंड द पोटेंशियल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विद द राइट टू थिंक एज अ फंडामेंटल राइट इन अ डिजिटल एज नाउ दिस कुड बी द क्वेश्चन इन यूपीएससी एज वेल so while you know practicing in class itself it will give you a whole dimension that what type of question might be asked so slowly and gradually that you know that 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 will be evolved in you ki kis tarah ka sawal jo hai wo aata hai and that will only come with the regular regular practice it is not going to come for like you if you are doing it for one week or two week or three weeks it is a regular practice you you have to develop that mindset that how you can have that you know question uh you know that is you, you that you are just driving from a particular news what type of question uh, that might be asked in upsc theek hai to ye to pehli cheez hai ki aap suno ya to dekho aur fir kaise usko interrelate karo ek topic ko aap interrelate karo and then finally kya question aap usme se bana sakte ho right and what we do in samachar manthan we also do like uh, we try to give some previous year question if already some questions have been asked from that topic we also provide it along with the question that probably be asked in future okay so this is the first thing and for this how much time you have to give you just have to give 5 hours that is listen and read not more than that okay just have to cover this 5 hours and you will be able to know what were the news throughout in a particular week right so now the another important part is writing so as you might have heard from animesh pradhan who is the second rank holder so he wrote you know in the 52 weeks he wrote just 50 tests so throughout can you see this consistency ye tabhi aayega jab aap consistent ho right aise wo nahi aane wala hai to throughout agar aap dekhoge 50 week 52 weeks mein he has given this 50 tests and his score you can also see here and like he had some you know some approach while answering the question that what approach should we have so first of all the very important approach that we have derived from his uh, continuous evaluation of his uh, you know uh, question, uh, um, this mains answer sheet these are the key uh, things which we have derived the first is introduction right in the introduction defining the background if some of the question is there which talks about some data right agar aapse koi sawal aata hai ki crime ke bare mein aap batao women pe crime bahut badh gayi hai to obviously you have to give some background background in the sense that you have to tell the status of what is the you know status of crime against women in india right so that you you'll have to provide with some data theek hai then 
interlinking if there's some keyword then you have to describe that as well then level third is you know the factors that you have to see ki kisme aur kya cheeze specifically puchi gayi hain right so introduction is must then we have the body part in the body part again you have to see what dimension it has asked right so this is just one example there are so many aspirants who have written these tests and the most common theme that we could derive by evaluating their you know answer sheet is this only aapko dimension cover karna hai dimension if you are providing then you have to provide an argument if you are saying this is artificial intelligence is a threat to privacy then you have to provide the argument and also you have to give an example theek hai then another dimension if you want to cover if you want to cover a dimension of privacy you want to cover a dimension of environment aapne bola ki ai ke karan carbon footprint badh raha hai then again you have to show some study you have to write about some of the studies right give example then third dimension fourth dimension as many dimension as you want to cover right so that will particularly enhance the way you are writing an answer and that will only come if you are consistent theek hai padhne ke baad jab aap likhte ho na to already aapke andar kafi cheeze ja chuki hoti hai so you cannot say that you will only listen and read and not write you cannot do that you cannot afford to do that you have to write it there is no other you know there is no other uh, alternative of writing you have to write it and what time i am asking from from all of you it's just 1.5 hours per week in samachar manthan also we just give you know a uh, five uh, question for mains and uh, uh, weekly we give this five question and these five question you can attempt in 1.5 hours and that will also help you in 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 1.5 hours that is i am telling maximum right aap uh, 10 question bhi attempt kar sakte ho theek hai aur bhi question aap attempt kar sakte ho but at least you have to give 1.5 hours on weekly basis then only you will be able to retain that what you have read okay and then again finally the third part here is the conclusion part conclusion mein again if it is a subjective thing then you have to conclude you have to tell the entire you know you have to summarize this you also have to do some value addition you can uh, include some of the way forward aap way forward mein kya dalna chahte ho agar aapko kuch sahi lag rahi hai aap us cheez ko include kar sakte ho you can take example of some other, another country as well unke country uh, example lekar ke aap wahan quote uh, kar sakte ho say for example uh, same sex marriage right same sex marriage is not legal in india but there are so many countries who have legalized it so you can also take example of those countries while summarizing it right so that can give you holistic you know an entire holistic coverage of a particular news so again guys it it will be difficult for you if if you want to you know just read one news and try to answer a particular question kyunki aap kabhi bhi dekhoge ki upsc ka question ek particular answer ki demand nahi karta hai it has to cover several dimension and so for that you have to read a multiple news आप एक न्यूज पढ़ के एक क्वेश्चन का आंसर नहीं सॉल्व कर पाओगे सो फॉर कवरिंग सेवरल डायमेंशन यू हैव टू रीड यू नो सो मेनी न्यूज पेपर अगेन यू डोंट हैव दैट मच टाइम सो टू कर्व इट ओके यू कैन फॉलो इट दिस अप्रोच देन फाइनली इफ यू सी कॉन्टिन्यूस प्रैक्टिस थ्रू मेन्स आंसर राइटिंग एंड हियर वी गिव सो वी प्रोवाइड फाइव मेन्स क्वेश्चन ऑन वीकली बेसिस एंड दिस इज अगेन द कॉपी ऑफ अनिमेश विच वॉज चेक्ड throughout uh, in samachar manthan and uh, because of his rigorous effort and thoroughly and continuously he could uh, score such a good marks in uh, upsc mains again that then you might be having question about how to cover uh, this prelims prelims based question again we do provide prelims based question on weekly basis aur magazine ke sath sath bhi hum sath mein pyq attach karte hain if something has been asked previously from that particular section and along with that we also provide a probable question that might be asked okay now pehli kya cheez ho gayi pehli cheez aapne seekhi ki aapko read ya fir uh, you know learn karna hai dekhna hai ya fir read karni hai second is you have to write now the third again very important part which i will say this is the most important part although uh, in the ranking it is third but this is not actually third this should be the first priority revision revision must be the third priority and for this you can allocate 3.5 hours okay so how can you do this again you have so many uh, newspaper uh, newspaper readings you have so many magazines uh, you have so many news as well right so aap kaise so complete kar sakte ho so what you can do if you are seeing any particular uh, beat samachar mantan or beat any particular uh, thing that you are following any magazine that you are following what you can do 
यू कैन हैव योर रनिंग नोट आप रनिंग नोट कैसे बना सकते हैं कि वेन यू आर रीडिंग द टॉपिक यू कैन हाईलाइट इट आप वहीं पे एज इट इज हाईलाइट कर दो एंड देन वेन वंस यू आर यू नो रिवाइजिंग इट यू जस्ट सी द हाईलाइटेड पार्ट और एल्स वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन ऑल्सो मेक सम ऑफ द पॉइंट कुछ जो इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इमर्ज हो रहे हैं फ्रॉम अ पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट फॉर योर मेन्स ओके तो उसका आप एक अलग सेक्शन भी बना सकते हो यू कैन मेक योर क्रिस्प नोट एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट यू कैन मेक योर रनिंग नोट इन द मैगजीन सो आई कीप ऑन टेलिंग माई स्टूडेंट्स इन समाचार मंथन डू मेक नोट डू मेक योर रनिंग नोट सो दैट यू डोंट हैव टू गिव एनी एक्स्ट्रा टाइम फॉर मेकिंग नोट्स बिकॉज नोट मेकिंग इज अगेन अ वेरी यू नो वेरी लेंदी प्रोसेस बहुत टाइम लग जाता है उसमें और इतना टाइम हमारे पास होता नहीं है सो इट्स बेटर दैट वेन यू आर सींग द लेक्चर lecture will be of 2.5 hours so while seeing the lecture you also write it you keep on writing because we keep on saying that this is important for mains this is important for prelims this data is important this year is important right this organization is important so keep on highlighting it so once you have highlighted it when you are doing the revision it's quite clear now again i will uh, explain this with the help of one example say for example see this this is the news if you see here ek news aayi thi jo aap sab uh, bahut familiar honge that the news was the 100 days on sunita william still stuck in space but says uh, love being here theek hai ab ye ek news hai ki sunita william kafi time se space mein stuck hain but kya ye news important hai upsc ke liye because at first look you might think that this news is very very important because sunita william she is indian origin origin and uh, we must know about it so again from this news what you need to know that becomes important this entire news is not important ki unhone kya bola kitne din rahi that is not important what actually is important from this news theek hai so upsc is not about you know in, especially in prelims it is not asking you about so many factual data it is asking about how kaise theek hai aur kya how and what right so in this news what we can say what we can say ki why she is stuck kyun wahan pe stuck hai there could be some of the reasons now that reason become important theek hai अभी न्यूज आई थी कि जिस स्पेस uh, क्राफ्ट uh, में वो गई हैं दैट इज स्टार लाइनर स्पेस क्राफ्ट विच इज वॉज मेड बाई बोइंग राइट सो द न्यूज वॉज दैट देर इज लीकेज ठीक है कुछ लीकेज हुए हैं एंड देर इज अ लीकेज ऑफ हीलियम एज वेल नाउ दिस हीलियम बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट राइट नाउ हीलियम बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ हीलियम दैट बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वाई इट इज यूज इन रॉकेट दैट बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है तो एक पर्टिकुलर न्यूज में से वॉट यू हैव टू ड्राइव that is actually the main problem and that will come you know with the evolution like aapko evolve hona padega dheere 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 theek hai to wo cheez aapko develop karni padegi or else you can also have the samachar manthan lectures where we are keep on dealing these types of news and what actually is important we keep on saying that theek hai if you already do this then then you don't need anything but agar aap nahi karte hain then this could be the best possible way Uh, that you can do right so see this this is the magazine of samachar manthan so it was written why indian origin astronaut sunita william is stuck in space and then we gave this news that why is helium and why it is used in rocket so this was dealt by me in the last week only ki kya helium ki kya zarurat hai aur kyu hum log isko dalte hain aakhir helium kya provide karta hai theek hai so it also act because this is a most you know it's it's, it's a inert inert gas it's very lighter so you know without giving any additional weight to the spacecraft and this also acts as a very good pressurizing agent theek hai to jaise jaise aapki fuel ki quantity kam hoti hai uh, helium ko release kiya jata hai so there is another separate chamber for helium and slowly and gradually this uh, helium is uh, you know released in the fuel chamber so that that pressure is maintained so that the smooth flow of this uh, fuel is maintained to the engine right so that is why helium is used and this becomes important okay so for this for this revision technique you just have to give you know 3.5 hours and again i'm saying guys three things which are very important read and you can watch also then you have to uh, uh, write and then you have to do the revision so all these three things you can do in just 10 hours in the most curated way you can complete it and in this way you can complete the entire current affairs right in just in just 10 hours okay everyone thank you so much for joining us